You're rushing, Imogen. Slow down, baby girl. Okay, let's start that again. Hello, honeys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then I speak about 110 miles per hour. I'm going to try and slow it down, humbuns. I am going to try and slow it down because I do know that some of you say to me, you need to put it on like 0.25 times so you can slow me down and then you can understand what I'm saying. So let's talk a bit slower. Let's talk about what we've done today. I've done this makeup look and I'm so buzzing about it. I'm so happy about it. Oh my God. I created this makeup look. I'm really happy. I've done a little halo eye, I guess. I don't really know, but full face of first impressions. And for the moment, the full face of first impressions have come through. I'm gonna let you know exactly how it lasts and everything like that in the description below, but if you wanna see how I got this makeup look, then just keep watching. Also, if you're new to my channel, then hit the subscribe button, because that'd be really cute, because then we can have a bigger family, and our family of Huns are just growing, and we just love each other, and we're just like, yeah. There you go, 110 miles per hour again. <sighs> why? Just why? Did I even tell you that my name's Imogen? No. Did I? Hello, honey, my name's Imogen. <laughs> Oh god. Also, if you like this number, it's like a little blazer breath. Breath? Breast? It's a little blazer dress. It's pinstripe. It's so nice. I get 30% off misguided this whole month. And there's the Kylie Biobell collection. The Kylie Biobell collection. And it works on the Kylie Biobell collection. So we are loving life. To get 30% off misguided, all you need to do is go onto their website and my voucher code is ImogenMG30. ImogenMG30 gets you 30% off. I went and got this, I got a couple of new things I'll be wearing in video tutorials with my hand bun. But I'll link it all below anyway, but yeah. 30% off I'm misguided, what are you saying? A haul is coming soon as well, you know. Okay, so if you wanna see how I got this makeup look, cause I'm actually quite impressed. Should we give my hair a little brush? Oh, like that. Let's just brush our hair a little bit. We can pop it to the side as well, can't we? Go on then. Go on then. If you want to see how I got this makeup look, then please keep watching. I love you. See you in a minute. I don't know why I'm waving and saying goodbye because I'm literally just like here in one second. I'm just going to zoom you in. Do you know what I mean? I filmed that already, but yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, my battery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my battery's already gonna run out. Oh god. Battery was just dead, but don't worry about it. I charged one overnight. You know? Okay, so this is a first impressions makeup tutorial, makeup video. I don't even know. But I'm really excited to share these products with you because I'm a little bit scared as well because I've never tried these products before, but let's do it. I already know I've made a mistake because I bought this Steeler Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color, but I bought it in medium warm. I think it looks a tiny bit too light for me. However, ages ago, I went to this Steeler event and the lady told me that this was her favorite product and she actually made these products. So if this is her favorite product, it's gotta be a good product. Okay, so can you see me there? Should I come closer like that? Okay. Is that a bit awkward though? No, it's fine. Right, so I'm gonna go to the front of the brow. Okay, it's very light. Oh, it's okay. I like it. It's really strange, like, I don't know if you can see, but it's really like, it's like a very thin watercolour. Is that what it says? Waterproof brow colour. Okay, fine. No, I thought I was just taking the words off the packaging. Right, so at the front, we're not going to do anything. And then I'm just going to go through at the edge, and let's draw that colour in. I have got a backup in case if this was too light, so I will show you what I'm going to use. I was going to call this a Debenhams testing makeup video, because a lot of the products are from Debenhams. However, I didn't get everything from Debenhams, so I thought I can't call it that, so I just call it First Impressions. Did I call it that? I hope I did. I just keep brushing up. The reason why I do actually really like this product is you can make it look very natural. It looks really soft. Can you see? It doesn't look really harsh. Sometimes I like a harsh brow, sometimes I like a soft brow, you know? So I actually like the fact that at the front, it looks really soft, because you know that whole ombre effect at the front? It's almost like you can draw actual brush strokes. I'm feeling it. I am feeling that. Okay, so I was gonna add another color because I thought it'd be too light, but actually, Huns, I'm so impressed. It's really nice and thin, and I know they look different to normal because I feel like they look a lot more natural, but you can see that it actually looks like I've brushed in brush strokes. Like I've actually drawn in brush strokes. <gasps> I think I will get a darker colour next time because maybe it is a little bit too light, I don't know. We'll see at the end. But waterproof as well. I'm sorry, but we forgot to mention that it's waterproof. I can go swimming, not that I would because right now it's raining. I mean, actually, there you go. If I went outside right now in the rain, we'd be loving our lives. So then I'm going to carve out my brows. I'm not even going to use any brow gel. We're loving life. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer in the shade Y33. And then I'm also going to set my base with this for my eyelid. Ooh. 
Imogen, you're talking so technical. I know, babes, I can't help it. We do it like normal people, we do it like this. Because why am I trying to go like this? Are you alright? No. You okay, hun? Probably not. Okay, so we go like this. You know when you do something right, you look at yourself and you're like, yeah. But then it's probably not right, is it? But for me, I always do that. When I think makeup's gone well, I'm like, Imogen, you look sick. <laughs> not sick, ill. Sick, like sweet, sick. When you're doing this, be really gentle and try and get a straight line. And I sort of just drag down by the straight line. And I raise my eyebrow a bit to see right underneath. And sometimes I'll draw a little bit further down so I know that that's the end of my brow. I mean, listen, I don't know what I'm doing, do I, Hans? But... I've watched a couple of makeup tutorials and I feel like I do know what I'm doing now. My face looks glowy, doesn't it? I put on, I will tell you what I put on. I will tell you. I put on the Origins Ginseng Moisturiser just before I started filming because, you know, give that, give that baby a little moisture. Before I rub that in, I'm just going to take the rest of that concealer and just paste it all over my lid. Very messy, but I'm going to beauty blend that in. I'm going to take our damp beauty blender. I couldn't find it. And we're just going to pat that like. So, do you love it how I'm being really professional today, hum buns? Oh, can't open my eye, not being that professional. Okay, I'm gonna do my other eye, and now, oh no. I think I just put, I just went like that on my top, oh no. Okay, not that professional, I'll see you in a mojo, I'm gonna do this eye. This eye, or this eye? <laughs> Don't know about you, huns, but does that concealer look really dewy and nice and soft? And it just went on so easily. Makeup forever, everyone talks about it all the time. But I am loving it. I'm gonna take my Too Faced concealer. This is not concealer. Oh, are you okay? Oh God. Do you know why it is, Hans? I've got to tell you this. It's a morning here, and my dad was like, right, Imogen, you're gonna film. And I was like, you know when you're not even awake? I am not even awake. Can you hear in my voice? I'm like, struggling. <laughs> so I was like, let's get downstairs. I was like, all right, dad, I'm coming. Because last night I set up all the lights because I was so excited to film this. So now, I'm, I'm actually really buzzing. You know I'm always buzzing, but I'm a bit like, you know when you, your mouth and your head, it doesn't cooperate. They don't communicate. Like in my head, I'm thinking, Imogen, this is the Too Faced powder. Apparently my mouth is saying Too Faced concealer. <laughs> Does anyone do that? You wake up in the morning and you're like, you think something, but it's not coming out. No, is that just me? Maybe it's just me. I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way setting powder and I'm just going to pat that on my lids so it gives me a good base, you know? Everyone raves about these products, but to be fair, these products are probably the most expensive in my collection. I don't have very expensive makeup. I use quite cheap makeup because I love the drugstore. I love the drugstore, but I thought today we'd go all out. I was going to call this video my most expensive makeup products. No, I'm just going to pat this all over my lid. Make sure all of that is set in place. Yeah, what is that tag where everyone does it? Um, using my most expensive makeup products? Is it something like that? I don't know. Imagine my makeup looks sweet after this. I'm gonna be like, my bank balance is gonna be broken because I'm gonna have to rebuy all these products all the time. I'm gonna be addicted. I was actually hoping these products would be really bad so that I don't have to buy them again. I am so excited. We are using the Naked Heat. <laughs> We're using the Naked Heat eyeshadow palette. Hans. I can't. I actually can't. And apparently you can't because I'm showing it too close, aren't I? See it like that? Can you see it like this? Like this? <laughs> okay, so you know sometimes I'm like, I know what I'm doing with my makeup. Actually, no, I don't. I mean, sometimes I know what I'm doing with my eye makeup. Today, I've looked at this palette and I'm like, where are you going with it, Imogen? Where are you going with it? Okay, I'm going to take my Morphe M441 and I'm going to go into the shade... Hmm. I'm going to go into the shade Low Blow. Yeah? Let's go into the shade Low Blow. Is it a bit dark? No. Okay, I'll go this side. We're going to go into my crease. Building up that colour. Just making sure this is our transition shade. Like this. I'm just checking the camera's on. I've done that a couple of times. I've gone to show you what I'm doing and the camera's not even switched on. Oh. And then I've had to wipe it off my eye because I've already started without telling my hands. And what I'm also going to do is, you're going to think this sounds really weird, but I'm going to take this up into the front of my brow. You're going to think it sounds strange, but I watched Makeup by Ariel do it the other day, and he said it just makes your eye look bigger or something like that. But we're doing it. We are doing it. Right, don't add any more colour, hands. I think that's enough colour for our transition. So we're just going to blend that in. And if Makeup by Ariel says it's good, Imogen says it's good. <laughs> Do you know what I've worked out as well? If you do really have a good set base for your eyeshadow, everything just works so much better. I used to not even prime my lids before, you know that. How bad? 
it's not that bad. It's not really, it's not really that bad. Then I'm going to take one of my iconic London brushes. Doesn't have a number. Sorry about that, babes. But it's just a fluffy brush. You can use any brush. And I'm going to go into the colour KN. I'm going to do a halo eye today, Hans. So what we're going to do is we're just going to press this on the outer, like this. I'm probably doing this wrong, but it's the first time I've attempted a halo eye. And we're going to go into our crease with it and come round to where your little bit is there. I should come a bit closer, shouldn't I, angels? I feel like I'm too far away from you sometimes. Actually, to be fair, we're zoomed in now. Sometimes I feel really far away from you. These colours are blending together so nicely. Just going to go and keep building up this colour, but leaving the middle part about a finger width. Just leave that blank. Did anyone used to love that song from Taylor Swift, Blank Space? Nice to meet you, where you been? I could show you incredible things. The line, the actual line. Baby, baby. I got a blank space, baby, and I'll write your name. <laughs> oh, Imogen. I had a bit of a nightmare the other day, Hans. There's this chocolate bar from Holland and Barrett, and it's called Vigo, and it's vegan chocolate bar. It doesn't taste like a vegan chocolate bar. It tastes like pure heaven. I've gone into the Holland and Barrett in Victoria Station. I've gone into the Holland and Barrett in Westfield. I have been everywhere. Everywhere's sold out. So when I was in Manchester the other week, Manchester, I love you, I love everyone in Manchester, I went to the Holland and Barrett. The guy was actually really cute, and I said to Holly, I was like, he's a little bit of a heartbreaker, isn't he? Well, he turned out to be a heartbreaker, because you know what he told me? He said they're not getting any back in stock for a while, and if you go on the website, it says that it's not in stock, and they don't know whether they're still making it. So I left there with my heart broken. No chocolate bar, and they're telling me it's discontinued, basically. I'm gonna have to go on their website and see if they've got a number I can call and just say, humbuns, can I actually order this in bulk? Because I need it. Now I've done the other eye, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take that brush that went into our transition. Huns, I think I've got a little bit of a cold. Like, I keep having to stop the video because I've got... Okay, we're just gonna clear my throat and then we'll be sweet. I'm just gonna take the brush where I have the transition color and I'm just gonna blend that into my transition so there's no harsh lines. I'm gonna take my Morphe M433 and I'm gonna take He Devil. And I'm just gonna pat it, I'm gonna build up that color making it a little bit darker. Let's get that dark. Might be a little bit too dark, Hans, but I'm feeling it. We'll go with it. I mean, I like it. <laughs> Love this palette. I feel like you can do so much with it. You see, there's a little section in the middle where we're gonna put some pigment there. We're gonna put pigment. Actually, we're not gonna put a pigment. It's a pigment, like a really pigmented eyeshadow. Or like this. I think we're gonna put something like that in the middle. The shimmer shades. What's that? That's not a pigment, is it? I just put my little remote in my bronzer. And it's absolutely covered. So now my hands are covered in bronzer. There you go, Imogen's already making mistakes. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the shade Lumber and Scorched, mix them together and pat that in the center and that's gonna be our halo eye because we're, we're angels. That's why we're doing a halo eye because we are angels, actually. Take my Sigma E55 brush and we're gonna pat that in here. Also, Let's do this. I'm gonna wet it. I'm gonna take this one, this is new, the Kat Von D Lock It Makeup Setting Mist. By the way, everything I use today, I'm gonna link it all below so you can check it out if you want it or whatever. If you wanna buy any of this, if you like it, I'm gonna let you know in the description box exactly how everything lasted, how everything wore throughout the day. Actually, Ben is such a lad. My dad is a lad for waking me up this early because my makeup's gonna be on all day. I'm keeping this makeup on all day. That way I can let my hands know how it lasted. So I'll let you know in the description bar exactly how it lasted. Anyway, I said that already five times. We're gonna take the Locket Kat Von D and we're just gonna spray this to make it a little bit wet. And we're just gonna pop it into the pigment. We're just gonna press very gently. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Do you know why I like it? Because it sort of meshes into the other colours because they're really similar but it also gives you a little pop. Like, hello, I'm here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this further up from my crease just so it blends in. We're gonna blend it in in a minute anyway. There's a little bit of fallout but I would expect that because it is super pigmented. Anyway, we're gonna wipe it off with a wipe so it's sweet. It's actually clean. I did wash this brush, I promise, but that colour's just not coming off. So I'm gonna take my clean. <laughs> did I just try and wink? Did I actually just try and wink? Oh, Imogen, maybe that's getting cut out. No, it's not, let's be honest. I don't have a filter. I'm gonna take my Zoeva 227 and I'm just gonna blend the top bit into the crease there, just so there's no harsh lines. Oh, apparently there's little harsh 
dot of something there. I think this is looking cute and spicy. I hadn't even heard of this product about until about a week ago. Buxom, Buxom Cosmetics. I've got a lot from them, let's be honest. I was like, haven't heard of you. I'm getting you. So this is the Blackest Black Buxom Mascara. So let's go in with this mascara and then I'll put the lashes on off camera and we will chat about that. It's a massive brush. It's massive. Oh, it's nice because it's really thin. Do you ever have those mascaras where they literally just clump your eyelashes together and also just spit all over the mascara apparently, Imogen? Don't worry about it. <gasps> oh, Imo. Okay, so I'm just going to take a wipe while we let that mascara dry. I'm just going to wipe off my moisturiser that I was so buzzing to share with you. Oh, I've got my lashes on. I'll link my lashes below because I actually just have them in like a little pot. It's really bad. It's really bad. I use them. And also, does anyone else find when you use your lashes like four times, they go on so much better. They go on so much better. The first time you put them on, you're like, but the fourth time, that glue is already sticking. That glue is already sticking. Okay, I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD, the same concealer I used earlier. I'm going to put it like that again. I'm just going to take this with my Beauty Blender. My Beauty Blender. I'm just going to Beauty Blend underneath. Just so it has a good base again. Like that. I haven't even told you that I love you today, Hans. Are you alright, Imogen? No. You've woken up with a little bit of a cold. Can you hear it, angels? Can you hear I've got a little bit of a cold? And a little bit of a sore throat. But it's fine. I'm not complaining. I'm never complaining. I'm buzzing that I get to speak to my angels, but I love you so much. That concealer goes on like a dream. My under eyes are really dry and things crease really easily. That goes on like it's like water. I'm feeling that. <laughs> Another E55 shading brush and I'm going to take He Devil and KN this time. He Devil and KN. You know, you know. I'm just going to go, oh no, nearly made a mistake there. I'm going to go and leave the center again blank. So we're just going to go like this and leave the centre part where we put the pigment on the top and just leave that blank. Again, don't worry about fallout because we haven't done our base yet. I like doing my eyes first because I always feel like if I ever get any fallout, at least it's going to be fine. I've got loads of new products as well, like, let me show you this. I'm not going to use it in this tutorial, but I got this, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, but I got it in brown. I'm going to do a brown liner. Yeah, yeah, not in this tutorial, obviously, because I've already done it, but I'm just saying, I'm going to do a brown liner. Okay, then I'm just going to spray my Morphe E18, like so. And then I'm also going to go into those two pigmented shades we went into, Lumber and Scorched. And we're just going to pat that in the little centre bit, just to finish that halo eye. I think this has gone quite well so far, angels. I mean, I've got the rest of my face to do, so we might struggle a little bit there, but let's see what we're saying. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Steeler Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner, and we're going to put this, it's brown. It is brown, it's in the colour Lion Fish. Lion Fish, that's so cute, I thought it said Lion Finish. Lion Fish. Is there actually such a fish as called lionfish? No, there's not. But that's really cute, a little lion and a fish. Okay, I'm just gonna put this into my waterline. I'm going with a brown because I think it might be nicer with the red. It's not too much. Well, it is a little bit too much, isn't it? But it's not as dark as a black, obviously. Brown isn't as dark as black. What are you talking about? Putting eyeliner on camera is so hard because I'm holding a mirror. Like if I wasn't holding a mirror and it was just there, it'd be so much easier, but that's something I'm yet to invest in because the mirror before I had that used to sit here was too low. So I'd be looking like that and you'd only be watching my fod. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm gonna take my Bucks mascara again, Hans, and we're just gonna go underneath. Oh, not shield you. Let me come here. That would help. I think I'm like holding it in front of the lights. It's really dark, isn't it? <gasps> Is that gonna be the whole tutorial? Imagine it's like that the whole time. You can't even see my face. Probably be better. It made my makeup look better, wouldn't it? I have to share this with you. Look how cute this is. When I went to a NYX event the other day, look how cute this is. It says Imogen, it says my name. Well, obviously you know it's my name. <gasps> Do you know, sometimes when I meet some of you, I'm like so shocked that anyone would even know who I am. I always go, hello, my name's Imogen. And this one girl was like, I know your name's Imogen, I watch you on YouTube, and I was like, yeah, my name's Imogen, hi! <laughs> Are you okay? Take the Steeler Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Illuminating Beauty Balm, SPF 30, and water resistant. So it's about that one. Okay, it's got a colour. I'm going to show you. It has a colour. <laughs> okay. A beauty balm. I'm going to use this as my, wait, you can use it as a primer, can't you? For skin that looks lit from within. Add a touch of illumination. That's all, that's what I'm about. That's what I'm about, illuminating my life. I'm gonna take some of my Sigma Duo Fiber Brush and just place that onto my skin. It doesn't go colored on your skin. Oh, oh my God, I'm obsessed. I think you can wear this on its own as well, can't you? Oh my God, it's so nice. When I meet some of you, honestly, I love you more than you love me, 100%. I'm like, thank you so much for watching my videos, honestly. And you're like, I can't believe I met you. And I'm like, no, 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 
I can't believe I've met you. Honestly, that's how I feel. What we said about the Steeler bum? Look at it. My skin looks glowy. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> without my eye makeup on, of course, I would actually just go out like this. Obviously without, well, yeah. Just with this on my face, that's what I mean. <laughs> this is really exciting. Da -la. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I've never tried it, I'm so excited. Undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. I'm taking the color sand. I'm just gonna apply it on the back of my hand. If you watch one of my first tutorials, I kept calling the back of my hand the palm of my hand. <laughs> my friend was like, Imogen, that's definitely not the palm of your hand. I was like, oh. Okay then. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take any brush and just quickly pat this onto my skin. I am gonna push it in with a different, is that too dark? No, it'll go in. Yes to it being a yellow tinge. You know I'm all about that. I remember once when I went to Mac, I was with my ex-boyfriend ages ago and we were going on holiday to Crete and at the Mac counter in the airport. And the girl said to me, I was trying to get matched up. And she said to me, oh, you've got a yellow tint to your skin. And I remember thinking that was so much of an insult. And my ex-boyfriend didn't really understand, and because I didn't, I did not have a clue. I mean, I don't really have a clue now, do I? But I did not have a clue back then about makeup. So when she said I had a yellow tinge to my skin, I was like, is that a bad thing? Obviously not, like, calm down, drink, calm your life. We're gonna use my favourite brush, the Sigma Mex Kabuki. Do you know what I mean? And just pat this. Pat and brush. Pat and brush. Isn't it so weird how we're actually quite harsh on our skin? Like, when I watch some people do makeup, they're so soft and so gentle. I look like I'm hard, but I'm not. Maybe I am. <gasps> Sorry, but I'm buzzing off the fact that I've got the perfect colour. It is dewy as well. Like, it is nice. I don't know whether that's just because it's gone to my skin dewy. I don't know whether it's different for different... Let's read it. What does it say? It says medium to full, full coverage. It also says oil free. So I'm about that. I am about that. But this coverage, I am all about it. Okay, let's take the concealer that we used earlier. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Then I'm gonna take my booty blender. I'm obsessed with this concealer. Let's just get those under eyes looking popping. Don't worry, I know it's looking a little bit dewy now, but we are gonna set our face. We are going steady. I love doing these testing videos because I know what I'm like. I love watching testing videos because you get to see someone try it out before you go and buy it. It's like hauls. I love watching hauls. Because let's be honest, you don't wanna go and spend loads of money unless it's a good product. And I'm not gonna lie to you, Hans. I'm loving everything so far. That's not just because I'm a really positive person. Like, if I didn't like it, I would tell you. I am honest. Like, I'd much rather someone be honest with me than just tell me that I look nice when, and then let me go out of the house. Do you know what I mean? That's not a good friend. That's not a good friend. If your friend lets you chat to someone with lipstick on your teeth, she ain't no friend. She's not your friend. Then we're gonna take this Born This Way Fixing Setting Powder. Can we talk about this? I don't know if you can see it, but it's in the shape of a heart. Like, it's actually a little love heart. You know I'm all about that. That's so cute. I'm gonna take another damp beauty blender. It's reasonably, it's relatively damp. It's not really damp. But this one's for powder. I use two different beauty blenders because otherwise that one's not gonna love life. Right, so when I went out in Manchester, we went to Neighbourhood and Club Live. Oh my God, Manchester's amazing. Everyone in Manchester, everyone up north is so friendly. Like, I love it so much. Like, you're going to get in a taxi and someone's like, let me help you. And I'm like, I love northern people. They're so friendly. But I'm not saying that us southerners aren't friendly because we are friendly, but I'm just saying up north, they are so lovely. I love them. And I love my southerners too. Anyway, shut up, Michelle. So, oh, we are putting this powder. We are putting this powder. But when I went out, oh my, me and Holly were dancing so much that I've actually pulled my neck. Like, I was whipping my hair. I was on Snapchat loving my life, but I was whipping that hair now. My shoulders and my neck, <gasps> I've pulled them. Obviously, I'm out of it. I'm out of it now. I'm 24. I'm getting too old for the game. No, I'm not. You're never too old to boogie, hands, are we? Let's sit here. What I like about this powder, it's not really white. It's like not translucent color. It has a little tinge to it. So I feel like it's gonna make it look better. I don't know. You know sometimes when you have a really white under eye with the white powder on top, it can make it look a little bit too harsh. I'm thinking this is just gonna mesh in because it's a little bit yellow toned, you know? You know, like me. Okay, humbuns. So when the bake is set, we're gonna wipe that off. We're gonna wipe it off with a brush that apparently Imogen forgot to bring downstairs. Well done. Have you got one? <gasps> Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay, so let's just wipe off that bake there. I didn't bake for ages. I just baked for one minute. <laughs> Is that even a bake? Probably not. It's snatched at the moment, Hans, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> what we are going to do is, to bronze up our face, we're going to take this. Can you see? It's completely smashed. <gasps> the postman doesn't love me. Okay. 
I found this on the web for can you say is completely smashed. Take a look. <laughs> Siri, you lad. I don't need you right now, but how cute is that? Sometimes Siri just talks to me. I think he gets a bit jealous I'm talking to my hands. He just tries to chat to me. Okay, I'm going to take my smashed sealer one. I'm really sad. Your hands has gone all over the sofa. It's gone all over the sofa. You wait till Ben's lad gets back. Okay, I'm just going to bronze up my face. Going all over. Go on holiday, one place, right now, where would you go? Like, I really want to go somewhere on holiday. You know when it gets really cold and rainy and windy and everything in England? Don't get me wrong, I love it sometimes when you're in bed and you're all snuggled up and you're all tucked up and you're big ones in, it's cute, and you're watching a film and you've got loads of food. However, I would like to go away for about four days just so I can appreciate the sun <laughs> when it's really hot. I can appreciate the sun when it's really cold here and then come back and I'll be like, okay, I had my sun, now I'm back. I'm back to you, England humbug. Also, wherever I went, I'll take you with me. <laughs> then I I don't know if you're meant to contour with this, but I'm, I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer in medium deep, in medium deep, and I'm going to take this brush, it's new, from NARS, I've wanted it forever, it's really expensive though, so I didn't even realise how expensive it was, I was talking to the girl in Selfridges and I was like, do you have it? She was like, yeah, 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 and then you know when you feel really awkward? I felt really awkward to be like, no babes, I don't want it now. Because I was going on and on about it. I was like, oh, I've wanted this brush forever, 40 pounds, 40 something pounds, 40 something pounds for a brush! For a brush. I'm gonna make this brush last forever, I promise you. I'm gonna make this brush last forever. Okay, we're just gonna, I don't know whether you're meant to contour with this powder, but we're gonna do it, it's nice. This brush, I swear on my life, just gets you that line. See, we got that line, we got that line. We're gonna blend that line in, don't worry about it. And then we're gonna go underneath a bit here. And okay, let's go a little bit up here as well. Cute. I mean, we're fully beating our face. This isn't just, just a testing makeup video, is it? Like. I'm going out and about with Hugo being for the family today like this. Cute snap. So if you're doing a nose contour, this brush is perfect because you can literally just go like that. Boop, doo -doo. I mean, I don't have any product on, but I'm just sort of blending it out now. It's so weird how you look somewhere and you look and you just can't see anything. Like this brush was literally just sitting there, but I couldn't see it. And then you look again and it's there. I find it weird. Oh my God, I've got a story. Right, wait there. I've got a story, a really cute story actually. Let's just do this. Okay, so what we're gonna do actually is, to make that even sharper, that line, even though it looks cut, you know about it, you know about it. I'm just gonna take that powder again, and I'm literally just gonna go and swipe it down, like so. So we can get that contour cut. My dad's just gone out, right? And when he left, I literally had no makeup on. He's gonna come back and be like, and be like, hello, my name's Imogen, I'm a new person today. <laughs> and just go around to your mouth bit there. Just sharpens your contour. Oh, looks like I've got concealer on my lips, doesn't it? You know when you get that little bitty bit there? This is so cute. Look at what this is called. The Divine Goddess Luminizer in Venus. Dab on cheekbones, temples, decollete. I thought it was decolletage. Okay, whatever. Or all over your face for an incandescent glow. I'm all about this, Buxom. I'm all about this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the back of my hand. Everything's been on the back of my hand today, isn't it? Okay, then we're going to take our beauty blender that we used earlier for our concealer. And we're just going to pat this onto our cheekbones. I like to put liquid highlighter on before I put a powder highlighter on. Just because I feel like it makes it pop even more. And you know... I'm all about that glow. Anyway, so I was on the train the other day, and I was going to Holly's, and when I was on the train, I had my big suitcase, because we were going up to Manchester. So literally, when I was sitting down, I had my case on the side of me here, because it was quite big, and then I had three bags. Yeah, I packed too much. I definitely packed too much, but anyway. But you can never pack too much, can you, Humbuns? Because you never know what you're gonna wear. Always, as well, when I go on holiday, I pack so much when I go on holiday, and when I go on holiday, I literally wear like those things, sarongs, sarongs. I'll literally wear one sarong over my bikini all day and walk around in it. I take shorts, I take crop tops. I'll literally just wear that when I go on holiday, like it's so bad. I'll take so much. But you end up wearing the same thing, don't you? Anyway, so when I was on the train, this guy sat down, but he sat on the floor on his back. I said, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Let me move my case. Let me just put it over there where you're sitting and you come sit next to me. It's the most polite angel I have ever met in my life. He was like, are you sure? Oh my God, are you, are you really sure? Am I sure? Am I sure? He was like, I don't want to invade your personal space. I was like, honestly, you're an angel. You're an absolute angel. Being polite is like my favorite thing. Like when people have manners, my mum always said, when you go to someone's house, you are polite, wherever you are. When I was younger, my parents instilled manners in me. And I think it's so important. Like when I hold the door open for someone and they don't say thank you, I'm like, thank you, it would have been nice. I'm that person that tells them about themselves. Because like, what does it cost? Manners are, are free. Why can't everyone just be nice to each other? And he just kept being so sweet and my case fell over and he was like, oh, the case went for a little walkabout. And I was like, I'm gonna wipe off that bake, just under there, and rub it into the contour slightly, like that. Cute, cutie patootie, you know about this life. Then what I'm gonna do is, just to get the powder off my face, I'm gonna spray my makeup setting spray, just so it's a little bit wet. That oh, smells like cucumber, that smells so nice. 
that makeup setting spray you can tell is going to actually do bits it's going to do bits because it's one of those sprays where it's not too wet and I feel like it's actually making stuff stick all right, I better get this highlight on quick then because I don't want it to stick already. So I'm going to take the Baked Gelato Illuminator from Laura Geller in the shade Ballerina. I've never tried this shade before. I've never tried this one before, so we're going to go with this one. I've tried the other one. My dad's outside, but look at this highlight, Dad! <laughs> dad, can you see this highlight? Highlight? It's... Popping. But I was going to say pimping. But pimping! Popping. It's pimping and popping! Pimping and popping. Oh okay, my god. We are going to be very quiet while you carry on to filming. I love you. I told them that you woke me up to come down and film. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. It's like Christmas, I'm like, yeah, I get to go film the hunt. Mate, I'm sorry, but I'm all. Look at that. Ah! I want to step into a room, people are like, that's the image, and I'll be like, yes! And then I like, has she got a ring light on her face? And I'm like, no, I'm just yeah, glowing yeah, to the yeah. guy. What I'm going to do is we're going to take the naked heat brush, naked heat brush, the naked palette brush, and we're just going to go back into that highlight and we're just going to pop our inner corners because who are we without an inner corner highlight do you know what i mean who are we who are we what's the film wild child you know family just told me that we're going swimming so basically this makeup is staying on with me in the pool i'm not gonna be able to go swimming because i've got to tell my huns how this lasts sorry fam but i'm gonna have to sit and watch okay i'm gonna take the makeup forever actually this is like a single they're really cute that you can get them in like little packages and you get singles and apparently imogen can't get it out oh yeah i can get it out can you? Can I get it out? Yeah, you must be able to get it out. Oh, I'm breaking it, hands. Surely I can get it out. Apparently I can't get it out. I'll tell you what colour it is below because I've actually just indented it trying to get it out. Dedication to my angels, you know about that. I'm just going to pat this on. It's really light. I don't want too much of a blush look because I feel like we've got enough bronzer on and that. Do you know what I mean? Let's just pat that there. I'm feeling this makeup look. Does anyone else like it? Because I really like it. If you do recreate it, please tag me in it because I love seeing it when you recreate them. I always write on Instagram and you tag me. I'm like, oh my God, you slay my life. Like, you are all so much better than me. My lips, humbuns. Here we go. So I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. I've heard these are very good. Crayon contour in the colour 5C. So let's do this together. This is the colour. You know when you shop online sometimes, because I got all this online, you worry like what it's going to actually look like? This colour is nice. I like a dark lip line, you know? Stop talking. Why do I try and talk when I'm doing things? Like, just stop. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this lip liner. It's like Max Spice, but more creamy. I'm obsessed. I can't find my lip colour. Let me find it. I'm coming back. Okay, angels, I found it. So I'm going to take the Steeler. Look how funny I look. Just my lip liner. I'm going to take the Steeler. Colour Balm Lipstick. I've tried the other one of this, but I'm obsessed with it. And it's called Isabel. It has like a really men menthol -y kind of smell to it. it. Makes your lips feel really like they're tingly, which makes them feel like they're building and getting bigger. But also, it's really good. It's really hydrating for your lips. That's what Steela told me. That's what Steela told me. Let's go there. I think it might be a bit too pink. Definitely too pink, isn't it? No! Oh no, Imogen, you chose wrong. Is it too pink? I know what we're going to do. We're going to go with our lip liner. This is what we're going to do. There you go. I'm going to make this darker. Okay. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's go over. Luckily, this lip line is really creamy. Oh, I actually like it. I think it's nice. Oh, there you go, Imogen. Apparently you like it that much, you just want to draw it all over your face. Thanking you. Okay, that's actually really nice, I think. But we don't stop there, hum buns, because you know I like a gloss. Because we're going to glow. Look at this. It's so bougie. It's a box of a lip gloss. It's so bougie. I love it. All my lashes are going to go in that box. You know that box is getting used. Actually, yesterday I got a package from Benefit. I was so buzzing about it. And then I took all the stuff out of the packaging. And Dad kept the packaging. He was like, you might want something in it. I was like, okay, Dad. Cute. Cute. Okay, so we're going to take this lip gloss. And it is the full-on lip polish. Full-on lip polish. And it is in the colour Sugar. Sugar, oh honey, honey, you are my candy girl. <laughs> I can't sing today. <laughs> not that I just tried to sing, but my voice is not loving life. Okay, let's get this. Oh, sods, but you could stay there with the matte if you wanted. You could stay there with the matte because those lip liners are really creamy, but I'm going with a gloss because you know I love a gloss. I love it. I love it. Everyone's watching me. I've got all the fam around me, so I'm like looking at everyone like, hello. <laughs> oh, honey, bees. Hun buns, let's not finish there because we got the setting spray from Kat Von D. Go on, Kat. Stop talking, Imogen. Let's make sure that stays in place all day. Okay, I'm going to take my hair out, get changed, and I will see you in a mojo. Do you like it though? Soz, but I really like it. I'm really impressed. <laughs> getting better at makeup, aren't I? Oh no, stop hitting yourself in the mirror, but I'm getting better. <laughs> angels so i really hope you like this makeup look please give it a massive thumbs up if you do i'm going to link all of the products i've used down below in the description i'm also going to explain how it wore and how it lasted i'm not going to go swimming i'm going to stay with my hum buns and keep this on all day my lips feel tingly that buxom lip gloss come through look at that highlight though 
<gasps> I'm so impressed with all these makeup products. I really hope they last and wear all day. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for even watching a makeup tutorial of mine because I know, I know I'm not this makeup guru, like, you know what I mean? Like, we're growing, we're getting there together. I think it's like a process which we're going on together. This journey I'm trying to go on, you're coming with me. I get to take you along with me the whole way. So yeah, I'm gonna link everything below and please give it a massive thumbs up. Anyway, before you go, we've got to play the song game. If you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. Oh, that was really cringe, wasn't it? No, I'm a big walking, talking cringe anyway. I don't care about being cringe. I am cringy. I am a cringy person, but I think everyone just knows that. Everyone knows that by now, don't you? I think being cringy isn't even a bad thing anyway. Being cringe is not bad. Going off on a tangent, buzz of my brain. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, I play this game where I mime a song on my channel and you just got a gift sound. So let's get the song up and we'll get dancing and miming. You know this. You know about that laugh. And if you don't know, get to know. Okay, stop. <laughs> to go through my playlist because I was like, I tried to do one song, which was actually a sick song. I tried to do She My Bestie, Bestie, She My Bestie, but I don't know all the words, so I went wrong. Anyway, Dad, have you got a shout out? You said you've got a shout out. You have Rachel Garrett. Rachel Garrett, we love you. Who was allowing her mum to dust her room while she sat there and watched your Let Our Bake Off video. Really? I said to her, about time you did your own dusting, and mummy sat down and watched the whole video too. Rachel Garrett and mummy, we love you so much. Thank you everyone for watching my videos. Thank you for being so supportive. Thank Thank you for endless amounts of opportunities that I get all because of you. I will never ever stop being grateful to you. I love you all with all my heart. Thank you for watching this video, honestly. The fact that anyone watches makeup tutorials of mine, like, I am blown. And some videos, yeah, the hauls, I think I'm quite good at. But makeup, I'm not that amazing, but I think this makeup look, looks sick. <laughs> okay, until next time, angels, we're gonna love you. And we're gonna leave you. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for you to do it. We gonna leave you. I've still got the tag on this. I can feel it on my back, but it's a cute little number. <laughs>